All right, let's talk a little bit about the uh, the border wall. opposed fucking war. This is um, sort of a fascinating breakdown, and then we're going to head into the uh, fun half. Um, this is important, I think, in terms of of knowing the vo- the the wall. The um, was research done that took polling data from the Public Religion Research Institute's annual American Values Survey. And um, the uh, the research sort of cross referenced uh, support for the wall. Wall supporters express vastly more hostile views than wall opponents about the impact of not only undocumented but also legal immigration. That's fairly obvious, right? I mean, if you're a supporter of the wall. You got a problem with undocument, undocumented immigration. And frankly, all the data suggests there's not a huge quotient of people out there who uh, are OK with undocumented immigrants, uh, but have an issue with documented immigrants. So obviously, if you have a problem with uh, undocumented immigrants, the uh, the chances are it's from your pool that has a problem with immigrants, period. And there's quite a bit of correlation there. I know a lot of people uh, like to suggest that somehow um, this is only about undocumented immigration. Although, for some reason, the Trump administration won't extend uh, TPS uh, protections to people, which is legal document- uh, legal immigration. But putting that aside for a moment... What this poll does show is that there's also a correlation, oddly enough, between the wall and some perspectives on uh, folks' perspective on their fellow Americans. This is going to be very, very surprising to people. How's my sarcasm voice? It's pretty good. Three-fourths of wall supporters said the recent police killings of African-Americans were isolated incidents rather than part of a broader pattern of how police treat blacks in this country. The opposite of wall opponents saw a broader pattern. Three-fourths of wall supporters rejected the idea 75% of wall supporters rejected the idea that generations of slavery and discrimination have created conditions that make it difficult for blacks to work their way out of the lower class. Nearly two-thirds of wall opponents agreed with that statement. (coughs) See a difference here, folks? Just odd, this correlation. Wonder what that would be. Almost two-thirds of wall supporters said discrimination against whites is now as big a problem as discrimination against minorities. It's up there, folks. Oh, my it's God. It's big. That is really Super surprising. Big. Super big. Three-fourths of wall opponents rejected that view. And um, in a nod to my theory that racists and misogynists do not see their racism and misogyny as distinct, but rather just like, hey, what? They're not like me. Nearly two-thirds of wall opponents say f- the feminist movement uh, accurately reflects the views of most women. Nearly two-thirds of wall supporters say it doesn't. One in three wall supporters say the movement, uh, the Me Too movement, has led to the unfair treatment of men. Only uh, one in 11 wall opponents agree. Twenty-five percent of wall opponents believe discrimination against men uh, is now uh, a, a bigger problem as discrimination against women. So that's one out of four uh, wall opponents think that men are discriminated equally uh, as women. Uh, but fifty-four percent of wall supporters say men do face as much discrimination as women. That's pretty stunning. Like, how do you go through your life and experience that? How do 54%, how do over half of any cohort go through life thinking that, that men are as discriminated as women? Like, in what context? Like, there's women's night at the bowling alley 
three nights a week. Exactly. And we only get two. Like what? Like honestly, like where? It's crazy. I mean, but it's not crazy. The Donald Trump has known exactly what he's doing, and he appeals to racists, um, probably because he's racist. <laughs> I'm defenseless against that kind of female insanity. Yeah, there you go. That's part of the problem. There you go. Um,